Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as usual. Uh, before we get started with this beautiful 3D video, please check out the description box. You've got a bunch of useful links down there to other playlists to uh, try to learn C++ as well as you can before you start off with these tutorials. Uh, so links to those playlists are down there. You got my Twitter link, you got my support page. Please consider checking them out. It really helps me out a lot. Follow me on Twitter. Um, consider subscribing and dropping a like if you want. It's all good. Otherwise, just keep watching. So basically, today we're just gonna get started with uh, where we were from where we were. Now I've got some uh, some comments saying that we're tired of 2D objects, right? So this is just kind of a 2D object rotating in 3D space. So what I went and did was I went into my primitives class and I created something called a pyramid. Okay, so it's gonna be our first ac actual 3D object. Now this video might be a little longer. Uh, hopefully not. I'm gonna try to try to keep it short, around 10 minutes, um, because uh, let me just do something here. There we go. So because uh, I want to explain why and how everything is the way it is. So number one, when we draw our quad right now, we have our vertices, right, and they're just those four corners of the quad, and then we use our indices to create the triangles. So the two triangles that make up the quad are created with the indices. Now sometimes with 3D objects, indices for me, at least sometimes, I, I don't like using indices because they kind of mess up the normals, okay? And we haven't worked with geometry shaders yet, which we will soon, uh, but for now, we haven't. So our my normals get all screwed up because if we would make a pyramid, imagine, we'd just have the point on the top. Now if I open paint 3D, up right here and I create a new object and I go ahead and I create a 3d shape of a pyramid like this uh, and I rotate it a little bit like this you can see that the top every triangle shares the top uh, point right so we don't have to multiple do multiple uh, definitions of it so we just make one of these and then we make one two three four Five. That would be five vertices. But see how many I have here. I have uh, three times four, which is uh, pff, what is it? Twelve, right? Twelve vertices. So instead of five vertices, I have twelve. But I have no indices. I have no indices. I have zero indices. So what that lets me do is that let's take this one triangle face for example. This would be the one we would start off with, right? This is the one facing us. So the normal of this would be facing towards the screen, right? Meaning a positive z-axis and no, nothing to the left or the right. So just 0, 0, and then 1, pointing outwards towards us. And all of these, all of these vertices have that same normal, right? They're pointing towards us. And the texture coordinates would be, if we have a square texture like this, we want to sample from 0 0.5, like middle, in the middle, and 1. So 0 0.5 to the middle in the x-axis and 1 in the y-axis. And then for this vertice, it's the same normal, like I said, outwards towards us, a positive vertice, a positive z-axis. But the texture coordinate in the square would be the bottom left corner, right? So 0, 0, 0, 0, bottom left. For the right one, let me guess, or let you guess, <laughs> actually. That would be 1, 0, right? So 1, 0. So if we look at our first triangle front here, our first triangle, our vertice is at 0, 0 0.5. So that's 0 and 0 0.5. No, that's our, our uh, bottom left, sorry. That's our bottom left. So 0, 0 0.5. Right here. No, 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 I'm sorry, 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 sorry. 0, this is negative. Alright, so in our vertices coordinates, this is negative 0 0.5, this is positive 0 0.5. And this is positive 0 0.5, this is negative 0 0.5. So we're right at the middle, at 0, okay? And then we go up a step, 0 0.5. So that's our top vertice right there, this one. Then, remember, we have a counterclockwise rotation for our front face. So that means we have to create vertices in this order. Top, bottom left, bottom left, as long as they're connected like this, all right, in the order. So I created the top one first. That means that I have to create the bottom left one after that, so 0 0.5, 0 0.5, okay, 0 0.5, 0 
So that's the bottom left right there, minus 0 0.5, mind you, minus 0 0.5, okay? And the reason I have a positive 0 0.5 in the uh, z-axis is because, as you can see, the triangle is kind of kind of going outwards towards us, right? Because it's a pyramid, it's going outwards, it's not just straight down. Otherwise, the z-axis would be zero. So it's kind of kind of just uh, pointing towards us a little bit. So it, it gets this slant. So for all of those who know about how vertices work right now, and you can read this and you can understand everything, please just go ahead and scroll forward when I start creating the actual, uh, how we render this and stuff, because I haven't fixed that yet. I thought we'd do that together. Uh, but just to be quick, so that makes our first triangle. Okay, so if I were to remove everything else, we'd have this forward sliding triangle and nothing else. All right, but let's talk about the normals and the texture coordinates. So, like I said, the texture coordinates for this one is 0 0.5 and 1. That means in the middle and 1 on the top. So we connect that sample from there. And then we go down and we sample from 0, 0, which is the bottom left, like I said. And then this vertices texture coordinate in the texture would be 1, 0 which is the bottom right, right here, okay? And then we have our normals, which all have facing towards the screen, a positive. So let's just take one more example. Let's take the triangle for the left face. So what you have to do when you're creating an object like this just by hand is you have to remember that we should always think that we're looking at the object like this, okay? So the normals, we can't just rotate it and make copy paste this whole thing and then it will work because when we rotate this, and this and this and this together they'll all have different values you want them all to kind of stick in the same position if I create four of these triangles exactly the same vertices because they're all basic triangles if I rotate them like this right um, we'll have the same triangle overlapping four times we don't want that so from this perspective I want to create a triangle on the left side so what that does is if I just rotate it like this if this is our front triangle we need to sample this one and then go back in the z-axis, sample that one, or get that ver vertice, and then go forward left and sample that one. So that gives us a the same vertex up here for the top, but the other vertex is going to be the back, see, minus 0 0.5 in the z-axis, the back bottom left vertex. So back bottom left vertex. Seen from here, from the front, it's back. So back bottom left. And then we're going to need the front bottom left. So back bottom left, front bo bottom left. Sorry. <laughs> so just like that. See? So we're always working from the this perspective, from the first triangle's perspective. Because then when we rotate, everything is going to rotate at the same time, remember? So we want everything to kind of work together. And then I want you to guess the normal of this triangle. Well, you don't have to guess because you can see it here. But <laughs> basically, it's zero in the z-axis, 0 in the y-axis, is pointing straight to the left. It's pointing straight to the left. Seen from our first triangle, it's going to point straight to the left, just like that. Because when we rotate it, then it's going to point towards the screen. You understand? So it's always rotating. Even the normals are rotating when you rotate an object. So we want it to point towards the screen. And then I want you to just look at the other vertices and just go ahead and kind of get an idea, get a feel for them. I'm sorry for talking so much about it. Uh, but let's just get started. For those of you who skipped the video, uh, check it out now. So here you go. Uh, we remove, if we look at our quad here, we remove the indices completely and we remove the number of indices, uh, local variable. And what we do is we set it to null pointer where it said, uh, where it said indices. We put null pointer there and we set number of indices to zero right here. Okay. And our next step is going to be going into game.cpp and instead of a quad, we're going to say pyramid. All right. And it's in the same spot, just in the center here. And we just said pyramid. Well, let's see when this stops lagging. Uh, we should be fine. It's just going to load from my goddamn. I'll just close this until now. There you go. Don't save. Okay. So there you go. Did I, did I start recording? Yep. All right. So the rest of the video is pretty quick. So we made a little pyramid. All you have to do now is you need to go into your mesh class and we're going to make a little if statement here. So we're going to say if this number of indices equals zero, then we're going to use our vertex drawing method. Else we're going to draw it with the indices. So otherwise, if we have a, n a number of indices zero, we're going to do GL 
draw arrays, GL triangles uh, start from zero, the, the first vertex, and we go to this number of vertices, not indices, so vertices. So this is our regular vertex drawing um, function. We still need to bind the vertex uh, array, everything like that, and we just draw it like this instead. I can actually remove these. There you go. But if this not zero, if we have indices defined, then we'll use them and we'll draw it in that way. Okay. So whenever we want to create an object that will be drawn only using the vertices, we'll make sure it doesn't have any indices to begin with. Okay. Now there are ways to fix this, um, and that is to or not fix it, but optimize it a little more. That is to go in here and make sure we don't even define a, an EBO uh, for objects that that have indices or don't have indices. If number of indices is greater than zero, so if we do have indices, all right, then we're gonna define the EBO, all right? So let's just do that. Let's just make sure we do that. And then we'll actually just, uh, yeah, we won't even send them in. So we won't even have a vertex for that shit. So there you go. Uh, mesh in it VAO. Yeah, it makes sure doesn't have any indices. We won't get an array for that. And the same thing here for the EBO. Uh, just like that. We still delete it in the end, but then at least in runtime we won't have duplicate or unnecessary data uh, stored, right? So there you go. In it VAO update model matrix. Let's see EBO delete. We'll do the same thing here. We don't even need to delete it if we don't have indices. So we'll just do that. Um, and I hope you followed me on that. So it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, if we run this once, let me just show you that it works. Hopefully it will work and I don't eat my words. Okay, so we have our little pyramid here, right? I can move it about. It's still just a triangle, right? But <gasps> what's this? Oh shit, it has four faces. Oh my God. What the hell is going on? See, and it's all working just because we we went from the first face and we created normals pointing to the left and to the back backwards in the positive direction or negative direction and to the right. So everything from the front face perspective helps it when it's rotating to kind of convert everything else to where it should be. I hope that makes sense. Kind of. Oh, what the hell did I do? Oh, shit, dude. Oh, damn. We're flipping out. How do I go down and up again? Uh, G. There you go. So you can see the beautiful normal mapping on that uh, right there. That's working fine. So the normals are really important for the lighting to be correct. So you just want to make sure that works. Um, oh shit, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Alright, well, never mind. Anyway, this should be fine now. Shouldn't It didn't crash when I closed it either. Um, this should be fine. Let me just show you one more time all the vertices and the indices. So I just want you to copy paste this, all of this data into a new primitive called pyramid. Okay. And it should look just like this and then you can use it. So just copy paste this. I'll copy paste this in the description uh, probably or, or you, I'll just put it on GitHub and you can get it from GitHub. The links are in the description. Like I said, you can go down there. You can check out a bunch of different playlists, uh, especially the GitHub links. Just go to my project, YouTube tutorials. Um, and you'll find all the data, all the code and everything you need. But otherwise, just pause the video and copy all of these exactly like you see them. All right. Just make sure they're all exactly the same. Don't miss a single negative anything uh, vertex around here. OK, just make sure you do that. And for those of you who might have missed the video where we fixed the um, the uh, lighting calculations, please go Google or just go search for that video and look it up because it's really important. Uh, otherwise, the normals won't work correctly and you'll get all kinds of weird errors. So just make sure you copy paste this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Please check out the description box. Please drop a like or subscribe if you can. Check out my support page. Follow me on Twitter if you want. All that stuff. But thanks for sticking with me. Really appreciate the support. Best of luck. Keep working hard. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.